Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and off lately you've been seeing a lot of custom ROMs on the Pocophone F1 but there are a very few ROMs which are actually based on MIUI. One such ROM is Xiaomi EU and I really really liked it because it keeps a stockish feel and it also gives you a custom ROM vibe. One such other ROM is MIUI Pro. Now this ROM is pay and use so that means it is a paid rom and we are not promoting mirrors or anything of that sort there is a group a telegram channel which is linked in the description for more information on this particular rom you can go ahead and check that i will be previewing this rom today and uh, if there is enough interest i may go ahead and make a full review as well now before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and let's quickly have a look at this beautiful beautiful ROM which is based on Xiaomi's MIUI. First things first, uh, this is MIUI version MIUI 10 Pro or MIUI Pro 10 which is based on 9.6.13 beta the device of course is the Pocophone F1 and the whole UI in fact is slightly different compared to what MIUI is well it is definitely based on MIUI but they have made a lot of changes here and there to their taste to the way they want this to look so before we begin what we will do is we will have a look at a few of the features and change lock to the latest build so that should give you a perspective as to what this ROM is all about and what to expect so of course this is based on the latest Chinese weekly firmware that is the China developer version that is 9.6.13 Languages, Russian and all the other languages are there because this is of course a Russian ROM and uh, OM firmware, patch and repository, cut access Chinese applications, optimized system resources and power consumption, required minimum of Google services. Now that is absolutely right because all it comes with is Google Play services and Google Play Store install. So if you're looking at it from a MIUI point of view this is an extremely deep bloated ROM we do have an extended reboot menu MI8 weather app and extended widget and source package authors wallpaper themes style of design root rights in the drain integration of super SU init D etc etc you do have independent settings like expanded desktop a modified stock dialer I believe that's what they went to say there so there are a lot of changes I will actually post this entire change log in the description of this particular video because if I go reading everything well guess what will happen is for six or seven minutes I'll just be reading this and that will make the video boring that is not how we do things at smartphone tutorials right so let's let's actually get into the interesting things over here so when you come to the home screen over here you're greeted with a very very MIUI ish looking ROM and if you swipe to the left you do have a step counter and stuff and uh, if you try to okay so this is a new animation over here there you go it looks brilliant now this is a very very stock MIUI launcher I don't really see there are many changes to that let's go to settings here let's go to more and default launcher is system launcher so it is a slightly change you can change the you, you can blur the app previews and stuff that that is a feature that was included by Xiaomi in one of the betas you can lock the home screen layout app vault and all that stuff so there are a few changes to the launcher per se and if we have a look at the camera over here the camera is also a modded camera which has uh, the dynamic view or dynamic shots that is there 4k 60 fps 4k 30 fps what this rom is doing is just like xiaomi eu it is giving you all the features that you know xiaomi has even tried in beta and maybe polishing them a bit to make it usable for a daily usage so let's dive into settings over here you will notice that a few things are rearranged over here for example at the top you have my name and uh, if we go over here account security so this is where all the accounts are so this is changed and if we go back yes i am pretty sure by now you've already started liking the rom looking at the black theme or the dark theme whatever you want to call it yes it looks awesome yes xiaomi if you're watching we are waiting for the dark theme please give it to us you're giving to other devices in stable updates you're not even giving it to us in betas i really don't know why 
Now, moving on with our lives, uh, we do have everything that looks very, very similar to MIUI full screen display. So if we go to explore new features, we do have quick reply over here, just like any other beta would. And apart from that, if you go to additional settings, you see there is some authorization, revocation, notification light, these small, so headphone and audio effects. So all these small, small things make a lot of difference. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because Xiaomi has a habit of introducing new features and then after a couple of updates, taking them away. Now, custom ROMs like these, albeit paid or not paid, what they do is they optimize those features and bring them to us. So all in all, if you have a detailed look at the change log at the bottom, it's definitely, definitely a good ROM. Uh, now, I'm not allowed to create any mirrors because this is a paid ROM, but what I can do to help you is have a look at the Telegram channel that is linked in the description. Go to that channel and you will find what you need, if you know what I mean, because I don't really want to promote piracy or mirrors and stuff like that, but definitely you can check out that Telegram group. That is the guy who introduced me to this ROM and it's his channel. So just go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you want updates related to MIUI Pro. Now, moving on, we can have a look at the features or you know the ui so the features is something that we already spoke about pubg just launched there i didn't want to so gaming mode is there all the additional features of miui updates are there let's quickly have a look at the snappiness of this rom now if you see over here it's very very snappy and you see these applications are blurred because i've enabled that feature called blur app previews and to give you a very very clear perspective from my point of view well i would say that this rom has been on my phone for the last two to three days and this is my secondary sim this is not my primary sim my primary sim goes in my iphone but even with the secondary sim the data works fine it's rock solid i found the battery life to be actually better than miui maybe on par or better than xiaomi eu even but yes, this ROM does have very good battery life and uh, I did play PUBG on it before I, you know, make a full review on it. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to review this ROM. I did play PUBG on it for 15 to 20 minutes and I did not have any frame drops. I did not have any heating, Asphalt 9, no heating. Now, if we go ahead and have a look at the N2 benchmark numbers over here. 297,983. Now that's a whisker above what I usually get in beta updates. I usually get 296. So that's this is close to 298. So that is a good thing. But if we have a look at Geekbench 4, say if we go to history over here, now this run is a little different because on stock MIUI, I've seen this device score 10,000 in multi-core and close to 2,900 in single core and stuff like that. So all in all, this is a quick preview and first look at MIUI Pro for the Pocophone F1. It's an excellent ROM based on MIUI. It does have all the features you would need, almost all the features which you would need on a Xiaomi Beta ROM or a Xiaomi daily user ROM and stuff like that. So I would say if you want, you may go ahead and check that Telegram subscription channel and you can try this ROM and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section, how did you like it? Depending on your you know, comments, I will decide if I want to review it or not because I've already reviewed Xiaomi EU and that's a very, very good ROM and this is very close to that. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to review this particular ROM. And remember, every day in the evening between 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., we will be going live. So if you have any questions, do tune in to the live stream, give that stream a like and ask a question. I will be glad to answer your question. I'm there for three hours, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. For now, this was a quick first look and preview at MIUI Pro for the Pocophone F1. Let me know in the comment section. And until the next one, this is Kalash. Signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.